So Jordan, you ready for a spring break? Yeah, I'm ready for some spring break. You ready for some spring break? I'm ready for some spring break. I'm ready for some spring break. Before we go to spring break, let's talk about your, your nightly, nightly news. news. fourth edition of the Nightly News. We've got stories for you on boys basketball and new teachers. Let's see how the basketball team did this year. So I'm here with Drew. Hi Drew. Hi Jordan. As a star player on Fieldcrest, you're my favorite player by the way. Just wanted to tell you that. How do you think your season's going so far? Uh, we're started out struggling but we're starting to get there now. And what are you doing in practice that's helping you get it together? Just doing a lot of drills and scrimmaging. What's your biggest asset on the team? Just doing my part and helping the team the best I can. What's your favorite part about basketball, Drew? Just playing the game. What's your main goal as a team this year? Uh, I was to get to the state tournament and just place. Any games you're looking forward to? No, just take it a game at a time. Do you feel like since you started as a freshman, you have more experience as a sophomore? Yeah, a lot more experience because like in the sectional games I was in there and just it helps a lot. Thank you for your time, Drew. Thank you. How's your first year of high school basketball as a junior? It's going all right. I wish I was I wish I would have played my first two years. Better late than never, right? Ha <laughs> ha. That is correct. What's your favorite part about this year's basketball team? Going over to the bar's house after school and getting a good meal in before the game. So what's your role on the basketball team? I make it rain. I get rebounds. He gets rebounds. I'm here with Jackson. What's up, Jackson? Hey. That's Jackson. Me. How do you feel going into your third year of varsity basketball? Well, it's been a little rough, but it's getting better and we're improving. How do you feel about this year's team? Good. We're going to be we're going to be good by the end of the year. That's what I like to hear. So you're back off the uh the injured reserves. How do you feel after that one? Uh it hurt a lot and now it doesn't. So go Bears. <laughs> What's your favorite part about basketball, Jackson? Um being with all our friends and winning cuz it's a lot better than losing and March Madness at the end of the year. What are your goals for the season there? Mr. Pitts? Um, keep improving, get above 500, which we're working on right now, and win conference first, and then win regionals. Keep winning. So, uh, here with Matthew. If you could change one thing about your game, what would it be? Uh, out Shoot better free throws. Yeah, outside shooting. Outside shooting. I liked your three the other day, though. That was pretty good. That's the first one I've ever made. Ever. Congratulations. Thank you. Like you have more confidence since you were on varsity as a freshman? Um, yeah, I learned from Brady and Kyle and Nick and Cole, the seniors last year. So that helped. Congrats on a good season. We have a few new additions to the staff here at Fieldcrest. Let's go talk to them and get to know them a little better. We have a few new teachers here at Fieldcrest. Let's see what they got to say. What do you like to teach in English? Well, right now we're actually going over some poetry in the AP class, and that is one of my absolute favorite things to teach. Um, I never ever thought I was going to like poetry, and I'll tell you what, the British authors, they, they know what's going on. Um, in addition to that, it's almost an unfair question because the place where I taught at before, I taught every single class. So I taught freshmen, sophomores, juniors, and seniors, and a rotating elective. So there is endless possibilities as to what I like to teach. And where did you teach last? I teach at a really small school called Ohio. It's in Ohio, Illinois, really close to Princeton, Illinois. And there are only about 32 to 35 kids in the whole high school. That's, people say our high school is small, but that's pretty small. It's very small. <laughs> so what do you do besides English? Besides English, I do have a degree in theater. And so I help Mrs. Wells and Mr. Russell out, and we are gearing up for the hot Mikado. Can you tell me anything about hot Mikado? 
I sure can. It is Asian inspired and it's a really crazy mixed up twisted love story. Has some great jazzy gospel inspired music and on my way to work I'm usually listening to it and when I get here all day long it is stuck in my head. All right well thank you. Absolutely thank you so much. So what do you teach here at Fieldcrest? I teach high school special ed uh, English and reading. How long have you been doing this? Um, here at Fieldcrest, it's my first year, but I am in my third year of teaching. Um, I went into teaching because I like helping people. Um, I used to work at a nursing home and um, helping people there, and I really enjoyed it. And um, in high school, I had um, some English teachers that I really loved, and they really made me want to become a teacher. And we had a senior teach day, and I got to dress up like a teacher and... Uh, teach a lesson and it was a lot of fun and felt kind of natural and I enjoyed it. Do you help with anything else except teaching? Um, at Fieldcrest I'm also the sophomore class sponsor. And what else do you do for the sophomore class? Um, right now we're actually selling 50-50 tickets at the basketball game so that is our current fundraiser going on so make sure to buy a ticket at the basketball game. <laughs> we all try. Okay. Well, thanks again, guys. Let's hope you're here for many years to come. Well, hopefully they stick around. It's not that bad. Have a safe and semi-warm spring break. Stay cool. And we'll see you again in the next edition of Your, Your Nightly News. Have a, have a safe spring break. All I think about is Baylor. Oh.